How's it going everybody? I'm Chris and if this is your first video, welcome. Now today I've been wanting to do this video for such a long time and that is my first time at an anime convention. Now as you know we do many anime reviews about the animes that we watched in the previous season but I felt like I want to talk about my first experience just learning more about the anime culture. Now if you want to leave your experience of your first time at a convention feel free to leave in the comments below or if you want to film a video of what you did at your first anime convention and what your experience was feel free to tag it to me or send it to me as well. Now the first convention that I went to was Anime North in 2009 as I'm wearing the badge right here. I still kept it. I had the program somewhere I just don't know where it is. And how I found it? Well as I was watching new anime at that time maybe like Fruits Baskets and Lucky Star and Death Note and even Evangelion like all the iconic animes that many people have watched I just took one day and just searched anime conventions and my first result was Animazement and that was some convention in the states I was thinking like darn I would want to go to this convention so badly because it, I'd never been to an anime convention but then I found a website called Anime Cons TV and then they had a section just for Canadian conventions and that's how I found out with Anime North. I googled some of the videos, I looked at some of the videos on YouTube and I thought that was pretty interesting I would, and I decided to go that year. Now where was it located? Uh, it's in the same place that it's always been for the last few years that I've been going to which is at the Toronto Congress Centre. So when I first went, I didn't want to go alone. I was probably 16 at that time and I went with my parents and yes, yes, I know that there's some other people that go to anime conventions with their parents and I know, I know you're feeling like you want to do some crazy stuff at anime conventions, just experience it by yourself, but you want to have somebody by your side and I had my parents there and well, it was a little cringy because my parents brought my dog and I was like, oh my god, why'd you bring the dog? And they were like, oh, we have to bring the dog because he's the dog. And I was like, oh god. And then people were noticing like, oh, look at the cute dog. And I'm like, yeah, that's my dog. But luckily, once I got into the convention, well, my parents didn't go in because they weren't willing to pay the $55. So I was good then. But once I, when I was outside, well, that's when they did. Was a little cringy but not saying that it was bad it's just that i prefer to do things on my own trying things out for the first time on my own but it doesn't hurt to have your parents there for the first time now my first impression of the convention i was thinking like hopefully these people are like me that they just all they do is talk about anime but it was a whole different story they were just recreating scenes from anime like I see all these cosplays which are pretty cool I, I take photos for the first time I'm thinking like I don't know any of these characters because I've only watched like five or six animes at that time and then later on when I look at the photos like oh it's from that anime but just seeing the environment and seeing how people act there's just all different personalities and it was really cool and it was really cool because there's it was for all ages. You see some young kids there, teens, adults, seniors as well, which is pretty cool. And I'm out of respect for liking the fandom for that long. And, well, at that time, caramel dancing was still a thing. And, well, if you don't know what caramel dancing is, well, it was those times where people were obsessed with that song and that dance, as well as the Haruhi Suzumiya dance. I don't know what it's called again. Feel free to remind me what it was, but I remember those days. Those were the days when people danced to stuff like that, as well as Lucky Star, which was pretty dope. I guess I was one of those people that practiced the dance as well, because well, everybody was doing it, and I wanted to be a cool kid. Well, at that time, well, the cosplays, as I mentioned, they were pretty cool. But at that, around that time period, it was the time where... Naruto was still a thing. Now I know it's still a thing, but there was a lot of goddamn Naruto cosplays, as well as the cosplay with that red and black jacket. I'm not sure. I, I haven't watched the series in a long time. 
as well as Kingdom Hearts and a whole bunch of L cosplays. There was a lot of L cosplays, and I was one of those victims of custom my character well because it was so easy to cosplay. Now, when I went the first time to Anime North, well, I didn't really know what was going on, and I mainly stayed in the dealer's room because I didn't understand that there was hotels around the convention center that were holding panels. So most of the time I was in the dealer's room. Now when I was in the dealer's room for the first time, I was like, God damn, there's a lot of anime merchandise. It was pretty cool, but I didn't know what any of the animes were. At that time, I only knew a few animes, and a lot of them were the old school animes like Sailor Moon and Car Captors and Dragon Ball, and a few others like Lucky Star and Fruits Baskets, but that was pretty much it. What I bought the first time was a Sonic poster and, a, and an Evangelion poster. When I was in a dealer's room, the prices, now that was something different. I was looking for the Car Captors movie, and I didn't realize it was a high dollar DVD. And well, when I saw the price of it, well, it was something. It was pretty pricey. Now I don't even, I can't even find it anymore, and I regret not buying it. So my favorite moment at this anime convention was just the fact that I was in an environment where people liked the same stuff that I did, and that time it was just anime. It was video games as well, but anime was my main thing at that moment. It was just pretty cool just seeing all the different characters that you, you know and love in real life. And it was pretty cool to see it in person. Overall, like the experience was good, but it's just that I felt like I needed to know a little bit more anime and just interact with the people a little bit more. And I probably would have enjoyed it a whole lot more. It was definitely an interesting endeavor for the first time. And well, did I continue off with it? Well, I've been going for over nine years now. Next year will be 10 years and who knows, maybe I'll do something for that. Well, the first year of Anime North, what I regret is not knowing what the Nomonichi was. And the Nomonichi was the time where you can get some really cool stuff for a good price. And I didn't know that for probably like four years and then I realized like what is this why is everything so cheap and good deals I was like god damn why didn't I know this years back and overall that's pretty much it everybody thank you for watching if you want to share your experience of what you thought of your first anime convention whether it was anime north or some other convention from a different country or a different area so feel free to tell me about it as a video form or in the comments below and if you're new to the channel, welcome. We do anime reviews, some retro let's plays, pickups, and hopefully some other stuff in the future. So be sure to subscribe because we have a lot to come. And overall, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.